Okay guys, uh, we are here on Overlord, which in your replay folders is called D-Day. And this is the one and only battle that I was platooned with a grill. Uh, regrettably, I would have liked to try this on more occasions, but uh, I couldn't find people to do it with. I'm also platooned with uh, Polyarchites there in his T-57 Heavy, and as like I said, Death Shelby is in the grill. Now, if there's been a theme in some of my recent videos, uh, it's that if you have a lot of arty, uh, you have to behave differently, and uh, things can happen really fast in, in that kind of a game, and frankly, I would prefer things to happen quickly rather than to be develop slowly. And uh, my feeling was that I didn't really want my platoon mates uh, to deploy in a um, normal way like sometimes you do in a pub and be uh, subjected to fire from all four of those arties, especially since they're both in tier 10s and one of them is really vulnerable to incoming fire. So I thought we would try a little tactic that I would love to do in this map and it, it's rolling the dice a little bit but my feeling was that our force will be so powerful and so fast moving that even if we do encounter um, stuff down on the beach, I'm, I just gave it away, that uh, uh, we will defeat them. And because there's only 11 tanks and tank destroyers, if you subtract the 4 RD, um, you know, we're not likely to meet a force that can stop us. And the grill is really fast, I'm reasonably fast, and things are going to happen so quickly and we're going to get their arties out of the game and not uh, let uh, them get in their damage and uh, uh, this is another factor when uh, there's tons of arty in the game your three-man platoon can act very aggressively in certain circumstances and win the battle right off the bat so i'm going to hit the space bar here and we're advancing here at regular speed and like I said, uh, we're going to uh, charge on the beach. And uh, I timed it. We were in their backfield like in 90 seconds. And watch this grill jump for joy. I think he's happy about what we're about to do. And, uh, the, you know, their arties will barely have time to get set up. So here comes uh, a grill, an AMX 1390, a T32, a T57. And, you know, Polyarchites there in his T57, he has trouble keeping up. But if things get hot and heavy, uh, he's available with that clip. And uh, I've, you know, I, like I said, I just felt that that uh, uh, you know we couldn't do the conventional thing. Now watch, there's is a little mistake there by Death Shelby. See, that's a a, a reflex in a pub uh, that you stop and and try to take a shot. But you'll notice that I didn't pause there. Now here we go and uh, look at the clock. We've only gone 60 seconds in this game and we're almost to their base. Now the SU-101 did see me. Yep, there's my little panic button. And uh, I have to admit here, I wanted Death Shelby to take the first hit. He's got way more HP than I do. And uh, I, I have trouble penning a SU-101 in a directly frontal shot. Uh, so, sorry Death. Uh, so he took the hit, and then I got behind the SU-101, and there we are. See, the first shell didn't damage him, but that one did. Now, I sort of pulled the same move again. I, I've got, I should explain something here. I've got three shells left. Uh, I want to go after their arty. If I, if I hit uh, somebody that's coming here, uh, I'd rather uh, Shelby, uh, you know, take, uh, get, the, get in the damage. I'll save my rounds for the most important target. So watch what happens here. And we just lost to Lorraine, who obviously screwed up. Okay, there is the GW Tiger. I back off. Shelby's going to take the hit, and that means I've still got three rounds left. And there... Uh, two more Arties are lit. And, you know, the climbing here is painfully slow. The horsepower per ton on this thing is so pathetic. There's two Arties down. And I'm going to keep going here. Uh, this is critical. And you'll notice that uh, Polyorchites is almost into the fight. And, you know, we have completely uh, messed their deployment. But with four arties, right, uh, if you don't do this, uh, you're just accepting uh, damage from vehicles that can really har harm you. 
So that my shell just bounced off there. He just uh, did 400 damage to me with a uh, high explosive round, and he's out of the picture. Now I'm I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. Uh, look over on the enemy team. There is a guy over there in an object 261, and his name is Bika, and uh, he is a friend of mine. I have platooned with him on four or five occasions. He has played over 15,000 battles in that object 261. I, I, I it could be 17 or 18,000. It's a lot of battles. He lives in Moscow. Um, on the times I platooned with him, he declined to uh, join us on our TeamSpeak server when we had TeamSpeak. Uh, since that time, we've switched over to Discord. And uh, the amazing thing about this fight, if you look at the minimap, uh, where he was later found, we drove right by him down at K2, incredibly. There must be a bush there or something that he was hiding in and uh, he could not have gone there later in the fight so uh, it sounds unbelievable but uh, a 1390, a grill, a T32 and a T57 all drove right past him without spotting him so um, that's pretty amazing and that's all I have to say about that. Now I have two rounds left here and I'm going to uh, you know I can't reload I'm going to uh, reinforce strength here and try to help these guys. So my target is the T49. And you'll see, you know, half their team is gone. And three of the Arties are gone. So that's awfully good. No dam. Oh, there. No, only damage from the collision. And I'm out of rounds. So uh, i got to get out of here while I'm reloading. And when I'm reloaded, I'll re enter the fight. Opponent is a T32. Have to hit him s sideways. Uh, second shell didn't damage. Third shell uh, does get damage. You can see in the hit log up there. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about this fight. They only have four vehicles left, and it's obvious we're going to win. And uh, I think I made a little mistake here. I might have uh, possibly been able to do something to that T30. But in, in quite a few battles, you know, I'm, I'm sort of contemplating what, what is taking place. And the urgency is gone. You know, our strategy worked beautifully. And I'm just going to show you. Uh, okay, T-30 is about to die. And I got hit by the FV-215B. No, excuse me, the E-75. So let's just watch the... Uh, look at the minimap, guys. Minimap, minimap, minimap. There's a Batchat Arty going along down to K-2. And there's Bika. You know, uh, maybe I should go to a training room and try to figure out where he was. But, uh, you know, the, uh, if you've played that many battles, um, you know, you have map knowledge like no other player. And uh, so um, I hope you guys, uh, um, you know, take this to heart that um, if you're in a three-man platoon, you can do stuff like this. You're not vulnerable to all of those four RDs. If you're alone on the battlefield, trying to organize some kind of a push right at the start so that you're not uh, worn down by those uh, gigantic guns, it's harder to do. So, you know, um, that is one of the reasons I love platooning and uh, three men, you know, um, is better than two and it's certainly better than one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's game over.